So today is Monday, January 10th, and um, me working on a few different things today. So I'll just show you what the boat looks like. Um, so the boat is up in the air. Uh, I've used the same pulley system that I've used before to raise the boat up and then um, put the sawhorses underneath with some, some foam padding. Um, and then what I've done is leveled the boat up. So I'll put a level thwart ships and, and also lengthwise on top of the centerboard, which is flat and the, and the deck, which is also um, should be um, in the same plane as the waterline. So uh, now that it's up in the air like this, I have to decide where I'm actually going to put the waterline. So if um, you look at the drawing over here and um, I made a line, so you know, just running off this line at the bottom of the page, assuming that that's um, uh, <laughs> a reasonably straight line, um, which it should be as far as the boat design is concerned. Then I made a parallel line up here um, that just runs right below the water line um, as it's shown in the in the drawing, and um, as you can, and then you know, it comes out here. So the so. The water level should be end up should end up being somewhere along this line here, um, I'm presuming. And um, what they've done in the drawing is they've given it a little bit of extra uh, rocker, extra curve to the line to make it look a little bit more interesting. Um, so I have to decide still what I'm going to do. Um, but the water line will certainly be above where I put the or sorry where I put the bootstripe. This red line will certainly be above. Um, the water line itself probably by an inch and a half or two inches because um, there's always that little bit of dirty <coughs> sorry scummy so the water on the surface which you know if it covers the bootstripe looks kind of ugly the bottom of the boat's going to be um, grayish anyway so um, if it's got a little um, scum on that that's not a big deal um, so and it's nice to have that up a little bit higher so um, I may make it straight, um, or I may give it a little bit of a curve. Still haven't um, really worked that out yet. Um, but I got it up in the air, and once I figure that out, then I'm going to give it um, a coat or two of um, epoxy on the bottom uh, for the area below the water line, uh, adding this additive, this West System additive, and this basically creates an additional... Um, barrier uh, for water to keep water from or moisture to from getting into the um, into the carbon fiber or the wood of the hull um, might not be strictly necessary um, because the boat will be you know a trailered sort of boat so I'm not sure how much of the time it'll be spending in the water uh, but it's still you know it's a good idea and I've got it so I might as well uh, do that so I'm going to do that um, mark out the actual uh, water line um, where that's going to go and then um, use I'm going to be painting the bottom of the boat the, so the bottom of the boat's going to be black uh, uh, let's see I'm going to be to do that I'm going to be using this um, Pettit um, Black Widow paint and so what this has got in it is it's got a combination of graphite and I think um, molybdenum and Teflon and uh, one other thing I can't remember right off the top of my head, uh, basically to make it slippery, it's the sort of paint that you can polish to a real smooth finish, um, which gives you, you know, could give you more speed if it was a racing boat. The reason I'm using this is because I want a hard bottom paint. Um, so this will be a hard, hard finish. And because I'll be pulling it up and down, you know, putting it on a trailer, pulling it up and then um, sliding off the trailer, I want something that's not going to just flake off and, um, you know as it gets dragged on and off a trailer so that's the reason why i chose that uh, particular bottom paint so that's sort of the next step is to to work that out and i'll show you in the next video um, probably how it is that i'm uh, determining where the waterline is on this uh, boat the other thing i've done um, is i worked more on the combings um, which go in here and these are those uh, combings right here um, so it's the there's this one here and that one over there and as you can see it basically it's the foam uh, with one layer of carbon fiber or sorry a couple layers of carbon fiber on top of that um, it's still just a little bit soft and just I um, 
the curve of the combing is about two inches. So what I've done is I've set this at two and a half inches to give it a little bit of overbend. Um, Cause when I take the weights off and everything, there will be a tendency of the foam to want to go back straight. Um, so that might take care of that. The other thing is that when I go to put them in place on the boat, um, the trickiest bit will be to get the back of the combing to come up against the deck, um, especially in the middle. Easy enough to clamp it on either end. Um, getting it here will be the trickier bit. So if it's over bent a little bit, over curved, then when I um, press it down on the ends and clamp it in place on the, on the two ends, this will automatically push up tight here. So that's the reason why um, I'm putting some extra pre-curve or whatever you want to call it into it. So hopefully, um, that's hopefully two and a half inches is about enough. Um, it's just a guess, but we'll see. Uh, either way, it'll it'll work. Um, so yeah, those will go those will go in there. Once that's done, there's another see view of the interior there. So yeah, please do that. Please do the way it's coming along and uh, start marking out the bottom.